Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be taking a look at the first upgrades for the Traxxas TRX4M Defender. Uh, looking forward to getting some upgrades on this thing and see how it performs. So we've been sent some nice goodies from Little Guy Racing Parts. So we're going to be trying out their new 57mm uh, Trench King tyres. It's a 57 by 20 mil tyre. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. They've also sent me these awesome 1.1 inch all brass ghost wheels. You can get them in steel as well, but I went for the uh, the all brass, 40 grams a wheel. So looking forward to get those on. They've also sent me their lug nuts because they do different lug nuts for TRX4M, SCX24. So let's take a closer look and we'll chuck them on the TRX4M and then we'll get outside and give them a test and see how they perform. First off, let's take a closer look at the tires. Uh, so like I said, it's a 57 by 20 mil tire. It's directional, uh, really nice looking tread pattern. Um, you can see you've got the lovely shoulders there and you've also got your side lugs. So obviously it should give you a nice bit of kind of like side grip, especially if you're rock crawling and things like that. Uh, nice and soft. You can see how squishy those foams are. Really nice, soft, supple tire. So it makes use of NL2 competition compound rubber. So obviously should be really nice and grippy. Uh, this is actually my first Little Guy Racing Parts tire that I've tried. I'm really looking forward to trying these out. I think they look really cool. <laughs> I love the name as well, Trench King. If you're new to the channel, we love mud, we love war, we love getting our rigs dirty. So that just seems like an appropriate named tire to me. Little Guy Racing Parts do recommend that you either run a vented wheel or you vent the tires to make the most of the tire. And then their brass wheels. So this is the Ghost. Uh, it's actually a 1.1 inch wheel. You can get them in different colors and different materials. Uh, I think it's a really nice one. I've gone for the all brass, so 40 grams a wheel. Uh, you know, nice offset. Hopefully should look really nice on the TRX4M, I think. One thing to note is these brass wheels won't work with your stock TRX4M tires. So if you are looking to utilize your stock TRX4M tires, they won't work with it because obviously they're 1.1 inch instead of a one inch. So just something to be aware of. Obviously it doesn't matter for me because I'm going to be using the Trench King tires. Now in terms of comparing the Trench King tires to your stock TRX4M tire, so this is the stock wheel and tire. So you can see the uh, the Trench King is slightly larger. Uh, it's, it's narrower than the stock TRX4M tire, but it is a slightly larger diameter, only by a little bit, but not by a massive amount. So obviously you could easily run this tire on your TRX4M, you know, without having to make any like modifications to the body or stuff like that. You haven't got to chop anything up or anything, which is really nice. And then in comparison to the stock SCX24 tire, this is the stock wheel and tire off the Bronco. Uh, you can see it is larger the Trench King is larger than the SCX24 tire, so, so you can see it is quite a bit larger. So, but again, I've ran larger tires on my SCX24 Bronco with the hard body, and you know, again, you don't have to do any chopping or anything like that. You know, if as long as you're not going for like 60 mil plus or something, you know, you can run like a 57 mil, 58 mil tire, you know, without any issues. You just get a slight rub sometimes on the front bumper. Um, but yeah, so you can see the size difference there with the SCX24. And then if you're considering the wheels and tires for an FCX24, these are the stock wheels and tires off the FCX24 K5. So again, you can see it's very, very close tire size to the stock um, FCX24 K5 wheel, uh, almost exactly the same width and almost exactly the same diameter as well. Again, you're not going to have to do any crazy modifications to your K5, that lovely K5 Blazer body to get this Trench King on there. So that's really cool. So I'm um, not going to bore you with, you know, taking all the wheels apart and fitting all the tires. We're literally just going to get the tires on the wheels, get them on the rig, and then we can get outside and get to the fun stuff and actually see what they perform like. So just a note to say the brass wheels are actually vented. So if you don't want to run them vented, you need to seal that hole. So just before I finish putting all four wheels together, I've got three of them done. I just wanted to point out how easy these wheels are to put together. So obviously you've got your center ring, you've got your back face, and then obviously you've got your front face of the wheel. So easy to put these wheels together. Uh, you can tell they knew it was gonna be easy because you only get one length screw. Whereas most other wheels, you get the longer screws, which you meant to put in first, and you replace them all with the shorter screws. But man, these things are just so easy to put together. Oh, it's taken me like a couple of minutes just to fly through them all. So yeah, <laughs> for me, that is a massive bonus. Okay, we've got all four wheels and tires fitted. And you can see that squished look. That's really, really nice. You can see that kind of side wall movement as well, look. 
That's nice. These uh, wheel lugs of theirs, so much easier to put on than the standard ones. You use their little tiny wheel lug tool, which goes on the actual wheel lug. Then if you use one of their 5 mil box wrenches, so much easier than using like a standard kind of like, you know, wheel hex tool. Yeah, definitely recommend those as well. Plus, I think they look really nice as well. It's more like a, um, a scale uh, wheel lug as well, if you ask me, which looks really cool. Okay, we are outside with the TRX4M on the little mini rock crawler course. You know the story. We're going to give it a test, see how it performs with these uh, Trench King tyres and the all brass uh, wheels from uh, Little Guy Racing Fans. Absolutely loving the squish on these tyres. Having them vented, they got so much squish on them. You know, lovely kind of flexibility. You know, you can just see how they're like conforming to the to the rocks. So yeah, let's give it a little test to see what it's like. Nice, straight up there. Oh, we're stuck in a little ridge. Let's see if we can go back and nice, nice bit of flex there. Okay, let's see how it gets through here. They got a good grip. You can see that low down weight. Oh, nice. You know, that's that weight work in there that's stopping it from tipping over. See if we can rescue that. Nice. Okay, as we're here, let's see if we can get up the slope. This is normally an area that we really struggle with. Easy peasy, very nice. Loving how those tires are just like conforming to everything as you're like climbing up stuff. Really, really cool. Yeah, I definitely say if you're going to be running it on the rocks and you know you're not going to be getting more wet and muddy, then it's worth keeping it vented because you can just see how it gives the the tire that ability to like to move and kind of you know well I can't think of a better word but conform to the, the terrain that it's kind of climbing over. If we can do the stairway, always a struggle to get up this stairway. Obviously, the one thing I'm still struggling with with this TRX 4M is the throttle response. Uh, I'm still running the stock gearing and to be honest I find it an absolute nightmare to drive low speed control you know out of the box it's rubbish in my opinion but uh, so yeah throttle work is a bit hard but let's see if we can get up this uh, up the stairway nice oh my life oh we're getting stuck on that last big rock you can see we're getting Stuck on there. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, we're a bit stuck against there now. If we actually had decent throttle control, it'd be so much easier. Oh, a little hop. And it's still not tipping over. Where was it? Okay, now that is some uh, that is some good stability. That, you know, that would have tipped over by now. Let's see if we can just hop across. It's making it look easy, even with a really poor throttle control I've got on this thing, you know, it is gripping so well. And that low down weight from those wheels is making a massive difference. It's always a tricky rock to get up that one, to be fair, because it's so smooth. Obviously the throttle response does not help in the slightest. That was easy peasy going up there. Okay, let's try coming down. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay, now not many, as though it doesn't actually look that bad, not many could just run straight up that rock. So let's just see if this can just crawl up there nice and slow. No, it just made that look easy, didn't it? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try coming across. Nice. Can we recover? Nice. Oh, can I save it? 
Oh, yes. And so we've just got ourselves a little mild bank here with some loose dirt. So we'll just see how it does, just going up the bank and just on the kind of loose dirt, testing the tyres out. Oh, that was nice and easy, and they had a nice bit of grip there on that kind of loose dirt. Uh, made at the bank, no problems at all. So, you know, that was pretty good, happy with that. We've got the tiniest bit of mud here. Let's just give them a little run through the mud, see what they're like. Just a little bonus round, just in case you want to see what they look like on the SCX24. Here they are on the SCX24 Bronco. You can see they are quite big, uh, you know, against the actual uh, Bronco body. Let's just do a quick little run with the Bronco as well, so it's got much smoother throttle control than the TRX4M, just so you can see what it's like if you're considering them from an SCX24. I think they did really, really well. I love the way they squish. I love the way they kind of conform to the rocks and everything. You know, they got nice grip. Um, you know, nice bit of sidewall on there as well. Uh, you know, really, really happy with those. And then obviously the uh, the all brass wheels look really nice and also you know really nice low down weight. I mean, the rig itself it's actually pretty heavy now with those wheels on there. Yeah, it's definitely making a difference, giving it a bit more stability, stop it from tipping over so much. If you want to check out the wheels and tyres, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, also got a 10% discount code for any parts you want to get off Little Guy Racing Parts website. So be sure to look in the description, make use of that code, get your discount. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the wheels and tyres. Uh, drop me a comment if you've got any questions. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. There'll be more upgrades coming from the TRX4M soon. Sort out that low speed control, maybe go brushless. And uh, yeah, just basically just make it a better all round rig, hopefully. So yeah, be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.